Hi, this is Patty Phillips, and you know me as the queen of damn near everything. This is our first of a series of how to live a royal life. And when I say royal life, I'm not talking about the life that they're leading in Buckingham Palace. Although that is a royal life, it's not what I mean by that. What I mean by that is how can you lead a life that's uh, just more you, I think a genuine you, and whatever that is for you. So how do you lead a life that's uh, got more prosperity, more happiness, and my big thing is more fun, because I don't think we have enough fun. As women, we put ourselves at the bottom of the heap. We, we take care of our husbands, our kids, our homes, our jobs, uh, organizing things, put, being the you know, head of this committee or that committee. And then what falls at the very bottom is your time for fun. And I think that's just wrong because I truly believe that, you know, when we aren't happy, all those around us also aren't happy. They're not feeling the love when you're not happy. So how do you achieve that royal life? Um, let me tell you a little of my story. Um, when I uh, was married to my last husband, out of a series of a few of them, but af after I was married to my last husband, or when I was married to him, um, it was... Uh, he he was just a financial screw-up, let's put it that way. And finances weren't going well at all. So when I finally decided to, to get divorced, it was a very scary thing. I was a realtor, it was 2008, the market had tanked, um, real estate wasn't going that well, and I was gonna be responsible for making a home for myself and my daughter who was in college, and uh, my stepdaughter who decided to move in with us. And that was a scary thing. But I looked at what my life had been, and I was uh, trying to dig out of this financial crisis for years. And I remember at one point working almost 100 straight days without taking a day off. And when I say um, working, I'm not talking eight hour days. I'm talking 12, 14, 16 hour days. And um, there was not any fun. I was surviving and not even doing that very well. So I decided when I got that separated that I was never going to live like that again and that I was going to take charge and have a different life. So the very first thing I did were two things and this is what I would suggest for you in, in starting to look for a royal life. The first thing I did was I made a list of the things I didn't want in my life anymore. The things that didn't work for me and that I didn't enjoy and didn't love. And then I also made a, a list. I made a bucket list. You've all heard of a bucket list. Some people say there has to be 100 items on your bucket list. I don't care if there's five items or 500 items. Whatever are things that you want to do and see and experience and achieve, you ought to have that on a list. And no matter how far-fetched they seem, because I just saw on Facebook the other day where somebody posted a trip they took to Machu Picchu. And somebody else said, oh, I will, I'll never get there. And they're probably right. They never will get there because that's what they put in their mind, that they'll never get there. So you can put things that are as, as far-fetched as you want, just about. And, um, you know, if you're five foot two, um, you can't you can't put on your list that you want to be six foot four, that probably won't work. But things that you would really love and are able to someday achieve, put on that bucket list. And um, the things that I put on my bucket list were um, that I wanted to do stand-up comedy, so I started to do that. I'd always wanted to skydive, and I'd always had some man in my life who said I couldn't do it. So my Christmas gift that next year from my daughter was for her, uh, myself, and her brother to go skydiving. So I jumped out of a plane with my kids. Um, another thing that I put was that I wanted to travel more. I've always loved travel. I believe it's the best money you can ever spend. So I put travel on that list. I put uh, massages. I love to have massages regularly. I love to entertain. Some people, they would never want to throw a party. I could throw a party three times a day and it wouldn't be too much. I would have fun at it. I, I uh, put down some things about friendships. I've always had a lot of friends, but um, I experienced a different type of friendship, um, more of a tribe. I think every woman needs her tribe of women around her. And then um, I, one of the top things on that list that I put is I wanted to learn how to dance. 
And I had always wanted to uh, partner dance, you know, East Coast Swing, West Coast Swing. I don't even know that's what they were called. But I'd always wanted to partner dance and had never done it. So the first thing I did the day I decided to separate from that husband, although we were still living together, I called up a client of mine who I'd sold a home to. And I said, Pavel, I know you know how to dance. Where do I go to learn? And he said, in his little uh, Russian accent or whatever, Darling, here's where you're going to go on Sunday night. And he gave me a place where there were lessons. And from that day, my life was changed because dancing for me became my drug of choice. As I went through a tough time with the divorce and finances and wondering how I was going to make ends meet, I would know that, gee, next Tuesday, three more days from now, I can go dancing. And that dancing passion turned into about 40 hours a week for me in the evenings and weekends. So that bucket list that I made has not gone down, unfortunately. What happens is I cross off one thing and I add two or three more. But through that, I've had a really, really rich life. And the past 10 years have just been so rich. In fact, a few people ask how I came up with the queen of damn near everything as for my blog and, and for my moniker now. And the way that that came up is that I had a, a young lady working for me as, as an assistant. And she said to me one day, she goes, Patty, you lead such a rich life. You do more in your life than most people I know. And she said, you just have experience so much. You travel. You love to make a beautiful home. You entertain. You um, just do all these different things. I, something strikes me, and I just decide to do it. And I don't think about it. So um, that's how she said, you ought to have a blog. So she says, you're just like the queen of damn near everything. And I said, there you go. So I decided that I would create this blog and create this forum for women to improve their lives. So that's what this is about. So that's why I encourage you for this first step of this is to do two things. Make that list of things you don't want in your life and then make your bucket list and start that even if it's only a few items start it add to it you know experience those things cross them off and add some more and in making the list of things you don't like we do have to be prudent you know in my case I couldn't just decide to up and quit my job tomorrow because I didn't like it but I could in incrementally get rid of one thing at a time one being that husband but one thing at a time one thing at a time, I notched it off that list of, I don't like to do this. Let's get, it, get as much of it out of our life. We can't get the bill paying. We can't get the taxes. We can't get rid of all those out of our lives. But we can get rid of things that don't work for us. And sometimes those things are a little tough. Um, I, I know of situations where people have really, really tough times with families. And no matter what they do, they, they can't you know, rise above the, the frictions with their families. And sometimes they need to limit that. They need to, you know, uh, get that out of their lives. Or in my case, um, things with my job I didn't love. I had to kind of move and, and come with a different way to make my money. So those are the type of things that you can move out. Um, we're not happy sometimes as women with our bodies. What do we do? We need to maybe add in a little exercise or just, just cut down on the things that aren't so good for us so that we feel better and we look better. And um, I don't want to get into the body conscious thing because I think that's too much. But we have to learn to love ourselves. So when we add these things into our lives that we love and we get rid of the things in our lives we don't love so much, and we'll talk about the ne in the next series of what we can do to feel like that queen that I think we all are. I think every woman is truly a queen. So how do we feel like the queen? And we'll talk about that. So please stay tuned for the next in our series. And also, uh, remember, go to the website, www.thequeenofdamnearevything.com. And if you like what you see there or know someone else that might like it, please pass it on to them. And also, find me on Instagram. On there, I'm the queen of darn near everything, because damn it, they won't let me say damn. So that's that, but please do stay tuned. And also, um, we're going to have a lot of fun things coming up. And I'll be talking about that in our next series. So join me for those. Thanks so much.